going to be making some cute Halloween thank you cards. And these little thank you cards are going to say in the inside, sweet and spooky, thank you. These are little thank you cards that we decided to make because um, I needed to do some little thank you cards to give a few cards to a few people that have gifted me some stuff. And um, I wanted to go ahead and make some little thank you cards because I don't have any Halloween thank you cards. So we are going to go ahead and do that today. So let's not waste any more time, boo-boos, because I know you guys want to get down and dirty with the crafting. So let's get down and dirty and I will see you in a bit. Hola, hola, my little crafty monsters. So, let's get down and dirty and make these little thank you cards because we need to be sending these thank you cards out to a few people who have gifted me some cute Halloween little gifts and stuff. Um, one of the persons is my Nina. She went ahead and she bought me some Dia de los Muertos um, kitchen towels and a little spoon, the baking, mixing spoons and stuff like that. And so I'm going to go ahead and give her one of these little Halloween thank you cards because you always have to have those little Halloween thank you cards in case you get, you know, Halloween little treats and stuff like that. And you want to go ahead and thank the people that um, gifted you these yummy stuff. And so we're going to go ahead and just cut a bunch of little card mats and card bases. And if you guys need any measurements on the card bases and the card mats, there is a video on um, our library you could go ahead and check that out and then that will go into details on the measurements on these card mats and card bases but the card size that we're going to be making is an a2 card so that's pretty universal and um, a lot of you probably already know the measurements and how to make an a2 card so you know there's really no need to get into detail but if you guys need, do need help go ahead and comment on the comment section and I will be more than glad to go ahead and help you out and answer any questions that you guys have. So we're just going to go ahead and score our little card base here. This is a 110 pound um, card stock by Recollections. And all these other card stocks are 65 pound and those are also from Recollections. So we're going to go ahead and make um, this card a little bit more spooky. So we're going to go ahead and just ink the edges. I just want them to be a little bit inked. And I decided not to ink them with the black soot. So I'm going to go ahead and just do them with a purple. Just to kind of give it that little light touch of color on the card as well. Um, I really love to ink a lot of my projects. You guys probably have already noticed that. Inking is my go-to um, little extra on any kind of project that I do. So we're also going to use these blending, these... Um, distress inks to go ahead and do all of our card mats and then we're going to go ahead and make our dsp paper in the front you guys are going to actually see how we're going to go ahead and do that it's just really basically blending in three colors i'm pretty sure you guys already know how to do that but just in case you guys don't know how to do that uh, we're going to go ahead and use this little blender to go ahead and blend those colors together you guys will see right now and so we're going to go ahead and um, start doing that. I want to go ahead and start off with some black soot because I'm going to go ahead and do a black heel on here. Um, it's just going to be cut out by black cardstock. You guys will go ahead and see. So I want to start off with a black soot. Then I want to go in there with a little bit of the violet distress ink. And then we're going to go ahead and just finish that off with a blue just to kind of give it like a little kind of, I don't know, like a nighttime, I guess. <laughs> I'm not really 100% sure what we're going for, but I know that I do want to go ahead and just blend in those colors. I want to kind of make this look like a little spooky kind of forest. You guys are going to go ahead and see because we are going to be stamping some cute little trees that we have on there. And right here, I'm not really good at blending too good, but um, I'm just going to go ahead and do the best that I possibly can. So we're going to go ahead and just continue to blend the purple on here and then we're going to go ahead and hit that with some blue and just to kind of like give it that kind of sky look kind of like if you know it's already like the sun's already going down and it's starting to get dark and stuff like that all that good stuff so that's the kind of look that I'm kind of going for um is it really going to turn out like a night sky <laughs> I'm not 100% sure my little crafty monsters but we are going to try to go ahead and do that 
So I'm pretty satisfied for the way it looks right now. So I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at that. I don't want to go ahead and add too, too much color. I'm just going to go ahead and try to blend it and make it a little bit darker. But I'm actually pretty satisfied with the way it looks right now. So um, once you guys go ahead and blend your colors, whatever colors you guys want. Now, I'm colorblind, so it's a little bit hard for me to actually do a night sky, but you guys could see colors, so I'm pretty sure that you guys will do a better job than I did right here. So now we're going to go ahead and bring out our Sizzix die cut machine, and we're going to go ahead and um, cut out those little hills that I told you. And so these are some long fawn hills, and I'm going to go ahead and um, run that through my machine and just cut out a little tiny thin Hill. I don't want it to be too, too thick because I don't want it to take up most of the whole entire um, card. So, like I said, I, I want it to be a really thin one. And so that's what we're going to do here. We're going to go ahead and also cut out some little clouds. Now, the clouds, I am going to go ahead and um, ink those with the black soot just to kind of give them like a dark kind of almost like if it's going to be a rainy night. And so I love rainy days. I love the rain. Just the rain to me, just it just gives me life. And thunderstorms are my ultimate favorite. Lightning and thunderstorms. I love storms. So this is a little die set. I mean, a little stamp set that I had purchased from May May. May May made it. I don't know if you guys have ever heard of her, but if you guys haven't, she is an amazing crafter. And I used to be in her stamp club. So I do believe that this is one of the, the stamps that came into the stamp club. And so I want to go ahead and just pick that up with some London Fog from Momentum. Because I just want it to be a really, really light kind of like um, trees in the very, very back. I'm going to go ahead and do a really dark kind of spooky tree in the front. You guys are going to go ahead and see. And I always clean up my little stamps because I like to put them away as soon as I use them so that they could be ready for the next project. And so here I am putting away my little stamps because you know me, I have to put them away. I cannot just leave them on my desk like that. And so we're going to go ahead and pull out that little um, tree. And this stamp set is also from May May Made It. This is another stamp set that I got when I was part of that stamp club. I kind of didn't um, continue going on to that stamp club because the, st the stamps that she was coming out with were just basically not really my style. There was very few of them that I actually like, so I didn't want to go ahead and continue with that subscription. But I am kind of tempted to go ahead and re-subscribe to her stamp set um, club because there's some stamps that she's coming out with that I'm actually really, really liking. And so see that little haunted tree right there? That one is a perfect, perfect little tree. I think that that one came out perfect for the little Halloween theme that I'm doing right here. And so right here, I'm just going to go ahead and run this through my um, my tr paper trimmer so that I can go ahead and cut out the same size so that I, well, I mean, it's probably going to be a little bit bigger than the other, but it's okay. I just wanted them to be kind of a little bit similar. Now, the cards don't have to be identical because you guys know that they're all going to be a little bit different. And so right here, I'm just using the black set to go ahead and ink the edges of those little clouds just to also give them a little bit of a dimension. So we're going to go ahead and glue this little hill onto our little card mat. I mean, yeah, the card mat, actually. And then we're just going to go ahead and cut off the excess. Um, I'm not really too worried about uh, where the the hill is actually being placed at because I think that it looks perfect the way it is right now. So I really like how that looks. And then we're going to go ahead and add the little clouds onto the little cards. And I want to kind of make them look a little bit different, but, you know, so... I'm going to go ahead and glue the stuff on different sides. As you see right here, on one card I did the big cloud on one side and then on the other on the other card I did it on the other side just to kind of, you know, make them look a little bit different. And as you notice the hills are also a little bit different cuz I went ahead and I wanted them to be not to be identical. So these are the little stamp sets that we picked up from Z Michaels. I'm going to go ahead and just touch that up with a little bit of gray on the skull just to kind of give it like a little shadow effect. And I'm picking that up with my colorless blender. And then we're going to go ahead and just color those little pumpkins orange because of course most of all the pumpkins are orange. And we're going to go ahead and just kind of darken that little crow on the on the very top of that skull as well. 
Now, I'm not the best in coloring, guys, because you guys already know if you guys have been following me. So I just use a little colorless blender to kind of like make that little high and low colors on the little um, on the little pumpkin because I don't get too, too crazy on it. Because like I said, I'm not really good at coloring because I can't really see the colors. So I can't really like do that whole shading and all that good stuff. So since we don't have a dye for this, we're going to go ahead and just fussy cut these. Now, you guys, if you guys do have um issues fussy cutting because i know some of you guys don't like to fussy cut if you do have one of those brother machines you you guys could go ahead and just cut them with that or the scan and cut machine those would work really good on cutting these out for you as well especially if you're going to be making more than like two cards if you're going to be making quite a few of them if they're going to be like invites or something i think that that will actually help you out on that and so on these little placement of these little guys i'm going to go ahead and place this on opposite direct on opposite sides <laughs> of the card um and i really think that those are super cute you guys that stamp set from michael's really really came out super cute so right here i'm just going to go ahead and pull out my little ghost dies and these ghost dies i went ahead and i picked these up from aliexpress and we're going to go ahead and cut it out out of white vellum because you kind of want it to be a little bit transparent just so that it could basically look like a real little ghost. And that's just going to be like a little accent to this card. I love using the white vellum for all these little ghosts because I just think that it makes them look like a real ghost because they're a little translucent. And then also too because you get to see the color of the card through that little vellum. And I'm just going to add a little bit of glue where it's going to be behind that little stamp because then like that you can't see the actual glue because if you have worked with vellum you guys will know that if you use any kind of adhesive or any kind of um, double-sided tape you will see the adhesive and you will see the double-sided tape in these vellums so i made sure that i went ahead and i hid it behind the stamps and on the front we're going to go ahead and just basically um, emboss some thank you sentiment in the very front and i'm going to go ahead and do that kind of like a clear just to kind of give it like a little almost like a little um invisible kind of thank you when you hold the little card in a certain angle because that embossing will be clear but it will be shiny you will be able to see what it says and it's basically going to say thank you um but if you guys want to do it any color you guys could go ahead and do colors you guys could do it white or you sorry peanut just decided to shake right now but anyway so you could do it any color you could do it white you could do it silver you could do it like you know, orange or whatever, whatever color would actually show because this is a black little hill and sometimes, you know, black doesn't allow the colors to pop the way you would normally want them to pop. And so we're going to go ahead and use a watermark from Visamark and we're going to go ahead and use this clear powder. And this clear powder is from Recollections. And um, like I said, once we heat this, it's just going to turn clear. Um, right now, you guys could see it because it's the white powder, but once we heat that, like I said, it'll be clear and it won't be 100% like noticeable, but if you hold it in an angle, you will be able to see um, the many things that we went ahead and we stamped on there. And so I'm going to go ahead and just put all of my stuff away, boo-boos, because you guys already know that I always have to put all my stuff away. And then we're going to go ahead and heat this with our little heat tool and as you can see it just went clear just kind of like a little ghost sentiment like a little basically an invisible one so like I said in an angle you'll be able to see what it says and um, I thought it was actually pretty cute so now we're just going to go ahead and stamp the inside of our card with whatever sentiment you guys want these stamp sets I did pick these up at Z Michaels they had them on sale and I do believe that I picked them up sometime last month. Um, and so I've had them for quite a while. And so I decided that I want to go ahead and just use nothing but these stamps so that we can go ahead and make cards and tags and all that good stuff. And so right here, I just put sweet and spooky on one of the stamps that we bought from Z Michaels. And then afterwards, I'm going to go ahead and stamp it. And I'm going to, well, not stamp, but I'm going to go ahead and add a thank you sticker. Now, the thank you sticker, I picked them up at Zikhobe Lobbies. And that one, you guys are going to see, it's super cute. It actually is almost going to look like it's a stamp, but it's actually a sticker. You know, I'm not really too fond about using stickers on my projects because 
I don't know, for some reason, some stickers will kind of make projects look a little cheesy and you kind of want it to look a little bit professional, kind of like if you purchased this card already made. And so here we're just layering it. Um, I really love the colors that are used on here. They were pretty Halloween-y, if you ask me. <laughs> and so I'm going to go ahead and just put the whole card together. And then once we put this card together, we're going to go ahead and just, um, like I said, we're going to go ahead and put that little thank you sticker in the inside. You guys are going to see what I'm talking about. So now that these are done, um, I'm also going to use some bling because I want to add a little bit of bling like on the very corners. And so I'm going to go ahead and do that. I'm using this little um, glitter pen because I'm just going to go ahead and add a little bit of glitter on the very border of this card. And then I'm going to add um, these little blings. Now that glitter, I didn't really go too, too heavy on it. I just went really, really light. You guys are barely going to see like a little accent of glitter here and there. So I didn't want it to be too, too glittery because we do want it to be a little bit spooky. So um, we didn't want to make it too, too pretty. So right here, I'm just adding all of my little blings. And as you can tell, this bling is actually fighting with me. But <laughs> we do win over the bling right here. So now that we have these ready, we're going to go ahead and just go ahead and... Um, add the stickers, but I guess I didn't show that part. Welcome back, my little crafty monsters. That's how easy it was to make these little bad boys right here. So I hope that inspires you guys to make some little thank you cards or make some little invites. You can turn these into invitations for a little Halloween party. You could go ahead and just make these into Halloween cards to give to your little family and friends. Or you could go ahead and make some thank you cards because maybe you are going to be getting some little Halloween treats and you want to go ahead and thank somebody. So I hope that inspires you guys to make some. And if you guys do make some, Go ahead and share with us on our Instagram, Paper to Masterpiece, and our Facebook, Paper to Masterpiece. And um, don't forget to go ahead and subscribe if you're not already a subscriber. If you're new to this channel, welcome, my little boo-boos. Welcome. And if you guys are already returning little boo-boos, well, welcome back, boo-boo. Welcome back. So um, give us a thumbs up because our channel needs to grow a little bit more and you know like I always said boo boo I may look like a power ranger but I need help so I'll just get some <laughs> thumbs up also share and tell a friend because your friends also need to know how fabulous our tutorials are and that's it for now my little crafty monsters until next time goodbye